Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to share another Disney book with you from my collection. This one is from Sleeping Beauty and it has some incredible artwork in it. A lot of it is original art that was in the movie. Here is a animation cell of Maleficent. It's actually done like a Sarah cell where it's inked on the front and then they just printed white on the back. I believe these are somewhat like a silk screen process and then they just put it over uh, the photo in the book. The pages in this book are um, very glossy, so I did my best to uh, get rid of the glare. And uh, if you're wondering why I have gloves on, that's because this book is very expensive. Um, originally, I think it came out uh, around $200 or so, but now I find it, it's at a thousand um, on the website where I originally got it. So I don't know if they're becoming very rare or not, but uh, as you can see, there's some really beautiful artwork. A lot of it is done um, in a style like a medieval type artwork and uh, a renaissance. And uh, you can see uh, the backgrounds are incredible. They're actually produced by uh, Ivan Earl. He was a, uh, originally he used to do postcards for a living. There's actually another book by him that I have in my collection, which I did a video in the past. That book is massive. It weighs 18 pounds. And uh, uh, maybe I'll show it again at some point. But uh, like I said, if you look in the past, I'll try to remember to leave a description, a uh, link in the description that is. And uh, But as you can see, he does incredible artwork, um, both the original pencil sketches that were done and then passed on to him and painted. Um, you can find some random videos on YouTube that show him actually painting. There's a pretty cool episode where they take uh, three different Disney artists and have them paint a tree. And then each person's rendition is shown. And uh, there's some incredible stuff. But uh, like I said, he used to be a postcard artist, and then in 1951, he joined the Walt Disney Production Company as an assistant background painter. And um, his work was so highly detailed, and I'll just stop for a second, but this picture right here I wish was in, you saw more in the original movie, for that amount of detail, all those little um, henchmen in the foreground there are crazy, and then you can see Maleficent way in the background. Um, I just absolutely love his style. I actually had a former Disney artist do a painting like the one on the left, up the left-hand corner there. I had them paint a background for me. I just need to uh, put the cell on. And here you can see some henchmen. I have a few cells of the henchmen. One that is probably close to the top left one. Um, that, again, I'll show you at a later time when I show more of my um, animation cell collection. Um... This book is very big. I believe it's uh, high 200s or 300 pages, um, all very glossy. But uh, back to Ivan Earl, um, his work was so beautiful and took so long that it made the movie take uh, much longer time than they expected. And uh, unfortunately, on, or on the original release, I believe it didn't do so great. But um, his, his work is... It's just an absolute masterpiece. I mean, if you look at these, the detail is insane. Um, I wish I could afford more of his paintings. Unfortunately, um, I don't own any original paintings, just animation cells. But I know a few people who have um, the original cells and background. They just got crazy expensive. I know I saw one in the past. Um, uh, Maleficent on an original background. Um, I think is in the range between twelve and twenty thousand um, dollars. It's pretty wild, and you can see all the different uh, variation of sketches through here. Um, unfortunately, also this book is in French, but you uh, where I bought it has a translation um, printout that comes along with it. Uh, but I actually have it just messing around, so I knew what the title said. Uh, I used Google Translation app and took a photo of it, which is pretty incredible. You can take a picture of any of these pages and basically kind of have it read to you. Um, at least I'd have that read to me since I can't see anymore very well. But there's these beautiful fold-outs 
which I hate opening too much because as you can see in the middle, it starts to get white and crack the paper. So I try not to open those too much and you always gotta make sure that you uh, push them back into the corners correctly um, because in the past, unfortunately, I had one bend on me. But uh, these paintings of the castles are just incredible. I loved his uh, square trees, which you can actually see in the uh, Paris Disney World. Uh, sorry, Disneyland. The only Disney World is in Florida. Um, and it's funny because last night we were actually watching uh, the videos of D Disneyland in Japan. And oh my gosh, that park is incredible compared to Disney World. The attention to detail and everything is insane. But uh, I, I just love this book. I would have to say it's probably one of my favorites. It's one of my favorite Disney movies, actually. Um, although I haven't watched it in a while. But if you just look at this stuff, this is literally... He, he would have been a huge success as a Renaissance painting um, painter back in the day. Uh, I don't know what kind of money he made at Disney. But uh, his work is just absolutely incredible. And uh, I actually came across some of his original backgrounds and pieces that were uh, episodes of Disney cartoons, old ones. I think one was Chip and Dale, and uh, he actually did the backgrounds for them, and those were incredible. Like I said, he originally started with uh, doing backgrounds for some old cartoons first, and then he was given the task to uh, do this one, and uh, definitely blew it out of the park. The, his, his, uh, his work is just absolutely incredible. I wish I was uh, as good as he is. And um, it has it goes through uh, from the beginning of the movie and further on shows you uh, a lot of the background art. And a lot of these pieces are either from um, original uh, collections of people who uh, apparently have the money to, uh, <coughs> excuse me, to buy these uh, things. It, it must nice to have a, a budget like that. I, I probably could never afford these. Um, things. Although, like I said, I was able to get uh, a few cells that I'll share later on. Um, and I actually was able to get uh, the woman who played Aurora. I actually had her sign um, some, some artwork of mine, which I'll eventually show with you. There's a bunch of sections that, um, mostly in the beginning and near the end, that... Uh, have a lot more information about the movie itself. Um, I've been tempted numerous times to buy some of the King uh, from these scenes here. He's definitely a lot cheaper than trying to get a um, animation cell of Aurora or Maleficent. Definitely Maleficent's cells sell for a lot of money. I like his costume. I've seen in other books where they did uh, different color variations. Uh, to see what would work well with the, you know, the background colors and so on. There's so many people involved with uh, doing animated cartoons. You know, there's the original concept of storyboards. Then someone sketches the characters. And then someone will do the the color sequences, which work well with uh, Aurora and so on. Like what color cell, I mean, sorry, what color dress she should have and... Uh, Maleficent was changed several times, uh, her look, and then also her outfit um, had more of black and red originally, and uh, I believe it ended up with black and purple. Um, I gotta try and watch this movie again. I haven't I haven't watched it in a while, um, which I guess I should take some uh, use out of the Disney Plus since there really hasn't been too much uh, more on there. There are some great animated um, shorts. Um, and other movies that have been released recently. And I wanted to let you know... Um, let me see if I can find... I'm actually voicing this over because uh, originally uh, I, I shot the video last night. It took me forever to um, set up the lighting for this because I couldn't use a overhead light because the pages are so glossy um, that it would just reflect crazy. And actually... Um, Here's another fold out. And these things are usually beautiful. I mean, I, I would love to uh, print some of these out and just hang them up. They're, they're incredibly detailed. 
especially the scene for this room. A lot of the stuff you don't see on camera, that's one thing I like about these books. You can see the full background renderings where uh, normally you wouldn't uh, see a lot of that stuff. It all gets cut off, um, which is a really a shame, especially with the, the type of artwork that he does. But uh, yeah, I was getting horrible glares, so I had to get a, a box light and put it on the side of the table and do my best to, to light it that way. Um, I could have done it if I could have find, found a stand to uh, put, uh, put the book up a bit, but uh, this was pretty much the best I could do. So hopefully you enjoy it and hopefully you watch the whole video. Uh, these books, if you can find them at a low price, are definitely uh, worth it. Uh, Pierre, Pierre Lambert is the author of these. He has done some more recently, and I'm, I don't think I have them. Here's another great background of the whole interior of Maleficent, Maleficent's house, or Kate Castle, I should say. Um, but uh, he has a bunch of them. I have almost all of his books, uh, except I think one or two new ones, um, just because I, I wasn't collecting books at the time and probably didn't have the money. Here's another beautiful shot. Um, I just love to see all the architecture um, from this castle, and even though it's decrepit in parts it it's really beautiful um it's an incredible movie i really think and uh i usually don't like the live action versions but um uh, the one with angelina jolie actually wasn't too bad i mean it's strayed strayed far from what the original is if you've seen the original um because the crow did not turn into a human in the uh animated version but uh here's some of the end sequences and uh I think uh, when she, I absolutely love when she turns into the dragon. That is the coolest part, I think. And uh, there's some more of the square trees. And here's where you see it's there was like a desolate. Uh, this was in the movie kind of when there was a, a dark forest, even though it doesn't look quite like a forest there. But you can see it's kind of moody. And then the beautiful castle up on the hill which is how they did the uh, castle in Paris, um, which I will hope to get to. Originally, I was supposed to go there during COVID for my 25th wedding anniversary, but that got canceled due to COVID. So instead, we went to uh, Disneyland with just my wife and I, and that was a lot of fun. And uh, But yeah, I would absolutely love to get to the uh, Paris one at some point. Although after seeing the, the What's at the Japan Disney, holy crap, is that place beautiful and look at this artwork here all those thorns and everything that's that's insane i really wish they would have a maleficent ride um just something scary with a big dragon it could be so incredible this is why i wish i was an imagineer i could have uh, created a lot of fun things i have a, a wild imagination and uh, i think it could be an incredible ride um and you can see i wasn't sure that some of these pages are pretty thick and also um the gloss is so thick on some of these that they stick and you got to be careful of opening them. So if you do get these books, be careful trying to open them. Usually nothing comes off on either one of the pages, but they still stick. Here's some more, uh, that, that lower right hand one and the left one. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, love the coloring and stuff. I've seen those cells online a few times and the prices are just crazy, but, uh, huh. Yeah, yeah, there's uh, his signature, Ivan Earl. He does absolutely incredible work. Unfortunately, he's passed away um, several years ago, quite some time ago. Um, actually, let me just double check. Uh, he died in 2000, uh, July 20th, the day before my birthday. Uh, in 2000, he was 84 years old. And uh, he uh, just... Beautiful, beautiful work. And I'm, here I am wrapping it up. And then there's just a lot of information of where they got these uh, animation cells for. And um, giving credit to where credit is due. And uh, like I said, it's a beautiful, beautiful book. And uh, it actually comes in an enclosed case, um, which you can see in, in the beginning and uh, when I translated the 
title of the book because unfortunately I never took uh, French classes. So I'm not too familiar with it. But uh, I want to thank you guys for checking out my videos. And I've got a lot of new subscribers. If you haven't already, you know, as they always say at the end of the videos, please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And uh, I will see you guys again soon. Bye.